Hello YouTubers, how are you? We have a video regarding the Smart TV, the Samsung Smart TV Full HD Quad Core. You know where we made the video how to connect your headphones with the TV. Well, this is a sad video because I gotta announce you guys, I discovered a bad thing that Samsung did. It's regarding to the YouTube application. Well guys, now for example, if we go to the YouTube application in the Smart Hub and watch a video. I'm referring strictly to a full HD video. Well, um, when you update your TV, you will lose the full HD function on the YouTube application. This is a huge problem for me because the quality of my picture is downgraded to 720p instead of 1080. To make a clear example, let's run one of our uh, latest video and it's a full HD. Now go in more option, go in more options and here you have stats for nerds, I think, let's see, yeah, stats for nerds. And if you see guys, we have the current and optimal, let me zoom in, the current optimal resolution and uh, the first is the current and the optimal resolution is in the right um, to other TVs if you for example if you have a 4k TV in the right must say um, a 4k resolution 3800 by I don't know 2000 or if you have a full HD TV it must say 1980 by 1080 P or E, we are not interested in interlaced or pro progressive, we are interested in the resolution. I don't know why Samsung did this, I'm loving this TV. Um, before I had a great quality on the YouTube application and uh, even if in the remote control we have uh, made a video that the remote controller is responsible for this low movement. Um, and we found a small keyboard that will compensate and the TV is running very smoothly. Well, now we have this problem. You have the mobile phone and you can push your video and it's the quickest way to watch a video on uh, this TV. Now guys, sincerely, I made the update and I want to encourage you and suggest to you don't make the updates to the Samsung Smart TVs unless, unless it's really, really necessary. I see that Samsung lately in every update it mentioned and it has a description saying what problems will you solve if you will do the update. So, check out the description, see the description and then make your update unless it's necessary. Now, for the connection speed is wireless, the router is uh, at uh, maximum 5 meters from the TV, it's an open air, if you want to say uh, I don't have a router that is good. Um, with this router I got guaranteed you at the other 4K TV I can view wirelessly 4K so the internet speed is not a problem. If for example if you want to say my connection my internet speed is a problem you got to see in this menu in the right side the full HD resolution but it's not it's limited to a HD 40 frames 1280 by 720 uh, P I think resolution which is HD which is only HD my quality of the picture is terrible and let's make a challenge guys let's go in the secret menu let's uh, let's try to fix this problem for our subscribers for uh, UTV Samsung smart lovers or any kind of brand but uh, now we're uh, strictly limited here and uh, push in the remote control, let's push really quickly 
the info menu mood and power. So push to the TV, info menu mood and power. And now we want to be able to get in the secret menu. Let's zoom in. Okay guys, now we are in the secret menu and I want to show you. It's a challenge for me because I want to find how to fix this problem, how to make a downgrade. I'm not interested in all the updates, the TV was working, I don't know why I did this upgrade. This is the motive that I, I'm saying to all our uh, subscribers, to all the people that view our clips. Um, be careful what you are doing in this menu, every option, you can change very easily an option. And be very very careful because you don't have a default, a default button. So, now what I'm trying to do is go and find where you can update manually your TV. Because when we found this option, if I'll find a way to, um, to downgrade, to find the firmware update, I will make the update manually. Now guys, we have in the SEVC, it's an option. We have the option upgrade. I think this is the upgrade for the TV, but we can upgrade the Bluetooth, we can upgrade the uh, camera, if you have a camera to, to the TV, and we can make all kinds of upgrades. I want to see and find a way to make the downgrade with uh, all the older firmware for this TV. I didn't find any option to reset the YouTube application because uh, I think this is the only problem is at the YouTube application or or it's another possibility that by firmware the TV restricted the firmware just to block the resolution to uh, 720p. I don't know why this is the problem. I'm trying now. Let's see. Let's uh, uh, go turn off the TV, turn it on again and I want to reset the YouTube application to default or initial uh, installation but I can find even if I go let's see in the smart menu smart hub sorry in the smart hub let's see multimedia I can seem to find in uh, this new update how to uninstall before I I uh, can uninstall the application now, I cannot uninstall them. I can seem to find a way to reset the YouTube application. Um, let's see, let's find the YouTube application here and I'm trying, I will try to show you my point of view and we found, we have found the YouTube application. and. If my memory is correct, um, this update was made 21 September 2017. And here in this option, I had an uninstall button. I think I'm right in this uh, in this way. I can't now. I can't find an uninstall button or a function to I don't know to reset to the default values of the application. So it's a little bit of a problem for me. If I will find a solution, guys, for uh, this problem to restore the YouTube application, I will post it. So guys, um, I see here report this application. I want to make a report. I suggest to you to um, log into a Samsung account and contact Samsung about this problem because it's not a good thing degrading quality to an basically very important application. The YouTube application is the most important uh, uh, application on a smart TV. Come on, let's be reasonable. You watch us, no? Uh, <laughs> on a YouTube application, for example. So let's uh, join hands and contact Samsung about this problem and let's see what we can do. So guys, I'm waiting your comments. Uh, let's make a community together on this video. Um, 
and uh, please if you have advices if you have a solution for this problem let's join hands and let's uh, comment on the box below subscribe to our channel for those of you who are not subscribers yet and uh, help us make the things better and uh, the applications better and uh, why not uh, you samsung brand lovers thank you for watching this video guys see you bye